it's only TV, but I like it. The show with a heart of gold, nerves of steel, and a knob of butter. And we'd like to say that the show is already being hailed by critics as not Vanessa. Let me uh, introduce you to the teams. Our first team captain, Jack D, was once described as a midget terrier in a flashy suit. Great news for his tailor, but terrible news for the dry cleaner every time he passed a lamppost. Jack D, ladies and gentlemen. In the history of popular entertainment, surely the greatest talents are those known by just their first names. Elvis, Madonna, Cher. So let me introduce Trevor Neal and Simon Hickson. <laughs> And completing the lineup, a comedian and panel game veteran whose last seaside dip resulted in the tragic death of over 4,000 cormorants, Mr. Mark Lamar. <laughs> Opposing Jack in almost every respect, a comedian described by the Daily Mail as promiscuous and forthright, by the Sun as the undisputed master of the double entendre, and by the Sydney Herald as that puff off the telly, <laughs> Mr. Julian Clary. By his side, one of the country's best-loved comedy actors, tonight in the unusual role of enjoying being the macho one for a change. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. John Inman. <laughs> and finally, on Julian's team, a highly dangerous animal, normally a beast like this would only be allowed on TV if accompanied by two highly trained handlers. We couldn't afford that, so we had him spayed instead. <laughs> it's Wolf. Our first round concerns the secrets that the stars want to hide. Keith Chegwin's boozing, Bruce Forsyth's hair, and Dale Winton's wife, Alan. <laughs> we show the team's three seemingly arbitrary pieces of TV footage which are clues to infamous moments of British television. Their task is to find the story that links them. So, Julian's team, I'll come to you first. Uh, can you tell us what memorable TV moment connects these three clips? The government has ruled that children's shell suits, the popular lightweight track suits, are to carry fire hazard warning labels. He said that if the United Nations did not give Iraq a clear indication of when sanctions would be lifted, then his government would have to consider suspending all cooperation. They were shell suits, Snooker and Saddam Hussein. What do you think is the, uh, the link? I think it looks like Saddam just about to burst into song singing Great Balls of Fire. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I read your, the, the TV they sent to you. Apparently your thighs are 27 inches. 28. Is that true? Absolutely. Oh. Fancy. <laughs> I only oh. have thighs for you. <laughs> You're in a world of your own. <laughs> Thank God. Um. <laughs> so if there's anyone passing by who does have John's medication on him... And <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> Chelsea, it's a mistake. Yeah. He's wearing beige. <laughs> Mistake. And there's a man bending over balls. Which is the right thing to do. <laughs> well, we think it, it might be a, a CIA plot to kill Saddam by forcing him to wear an inflammable, <laughs> inflammable shell suit and then to make him play snooker with an abrasive cue. <laughs> what it actually is, I, I think, is that uh, Saddam Hussein is a fanatical snooker player. And, um, yes. He... <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you agree with yourself. Yeah, yeah. well, hear me out. He, has, he, he keeps all his cues in Iraq. <laughs> oh, I think I know the answer. What would that be? Right. Shell suits and sport. David Icke, sports commentator who wore shell suits, became famous for it, and then declared that the Saddam Hussein was God. Team captain, what do you, what do you think is right. the answer is, um, David Icke, uh, who was a, a, a snooker commentator. He was in the sports arena. And uh, he did make a prediction that uh, Saddam Hussein would, uh, would cut up rough one day. And he why don't we, why don't we, why don't we, why don't we stop you while you're very nearly ahead. And uh, let's see how close you actually were. If I am given information from beings who have proved to be perfectly accurate day after day after day and things they've told, told, told us are going to happen and they happen. They told you Saddam Hussein was dead and he's That's not. That's right. He's, yes, he is. Well, he, well, I watched his birthday party on the television yesterday. All I, can, all I can say to you is all that glitters is not gold 
hang about and watch and wait. But I'll tell, say two things to watch for and let the alarm bells go if they happen. One is if they suddenly announce he is dead now, therefore they don't have to explain the past and, and what's happened over the last few weeks and the fact that he's been dead for many weeks. And secondly, if they say we've done a deal, he's gone into exile and part of the deal is not to name the country he has gone to, therefore disappears to damn, let the alarm bells ring. <laughs> Ding dong. Uh, I think the bells were ringing for David, actually. <laughs> it was, of course, that was the moment when former snooker commentator David Icke appeared on Wogan in 1991 in a turquoise shell suit to announce the death of Saddam Hussein. A fact that Iraq's infamous dictator appears to have skillfully concealed for the past eight years. <laughs> Ike became famous for wearing that turquoise shell suit, which he said he wore in the image of God, which presumably means that this country's most sacred site is the holy city of Lakeside, Thurrock. <laughs> Jack Steve, now can you piece together the item of TV trivia connecting these three clips? Watch the face being charmed. And this, by the way, is Mr. Isari. He's the best in town. I had a drink with a Scotch friend of mine. He drank 50 whiskies in 10 seconds. I said, you don't half drink fast. He said, I had one knocked over once. <laughs> However hard times are for brokers, they're not risking their own money. But there are men on the stock market who do, the jobbers. OK, they were a snake charmer, Roy Walker and some merchant bankers. What's he called again in the middle? <laughs> Roy Walker. <laughs> what is it? You say bankers. <laughs> Mr. Walker. The first name? Roy. <laughs> you can do it if you try, you see. To him, that's like red lorry, yellow lorry, isn't it? It is really, yeah. I know it's a struggle for you, but you can do it if you try. And you don't have to do it for sympathy for the rest of your life, Jonathan. Just like you don't have to come on the show dressed like a shelf packer. <laughs> so Roy I, Walker... I once opened Roy Walker, there was nothing inside. <laughs> 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 These combined to make a TV, a famous yeah. TV moment. Yeah. Well, that's not true. You, <laughs> you're going to regret you ever said that. I'm regretting coming on. Never yeah. mind speaking. <laughs> Obviously, but you, you are so. This is such a wonderful. Boy Walker has only been on two TV shows ever: The Comedians, which I believe that was, yeah. and and Catchphrase. Say what you see, Catchphrase. I'm race. asking you for once in your life. I might say what you see. I see a merchant, some merchant bank, as <laughs> a snake charmer with Boy Walker. Shut your mouth. Mark, <laughs> I'm going to take it through you very slowly, so you can follow the process. That's I've had enough. Mark, come back. Come on, come on. It's not Mark, like you're not. I'm, oh, I'm taking this thing. I'm Mark, not sitting here. Hang on a second. I'm not sitting there. Hey, hey, like Jonathan, you don't know the answer, so we've got to sit here for hours and make one up. I was no, catchphrase, Mark. catchphrase, it was think a banker was on and he said, what's that? He said, it's a snake and it was, uh-uh. This is, this is... Hold on, I know the answer. I know the answer. I know the answer. I remember, I do know the answer. Oh, yeah, and the answer is... You're quite right, Jonathan. It's a very good question. Yeah, and you know the answer. And you know why I know you know the answer? Because I showed you this clip at my house about four years ago. That's why I know you know the answer. I'm going to visit your house. Don't say that to people. <laughs> There's a clip yeah. on, on the, the Say What You See show catchphrase yes. that uh, the answer was Snake Charmer, but it looked like someone to tossing off. You see, <laughs> when we work together, you see what we can achieve. Let's see how, let's see how wide you are. Centre one. Five seconds. 